the show the public loves and the tax man loathes because all our prize money, now running at over £100,000 on average per show, is totally tax-free. This is the place that laughs in the face of the inland revenue. We have ten brand-new contestants tonight, all bursting to tell Gordon Brown. We're not going to give you that. They are... Martin McKinnon from Serlingshire. Graham Young from Cornwall. George Nicholl from Perthshire. David Rayner from Cambridgeshire. Martin Jenkins from Mid Glamorgan. Anne Green from Leicestershire. Ian Goldman from Greater Manchester. Bob Hitchin from Lancashire. Richard Dealey from Nottinghamshire. And Steve Hassel from Cheshire. OK, here we go. Ten contestants. Fastest finger first, as always. It's the player who gets the four answers in the correct order in the fastest time is the first tonight to play for a possible £1 million. Total concentration, please, audience. Right, here comes the question. Starting with the smallest amount, put these numbers in order. 1,000, 1 million, 100, 1 billion. OK, ten start. Let's see if all ten got that right. It seems very straightforward. Let's see at speed, though. The right order, then. Starting with the smallest amount, 100. Uh, then it's 1,000. Then it's 1 million. Then it's 1 billion. That's the right order. We want to try and get 1 million tonight. Now, ten started. How many got it right of those? Uh, most of them, but not all of them. Nine got it right. Who was fastest? Richard Dealey in 4.18 seconds. That's pretty good. Hi, Chris. Very good. Well yeah, How are you here? Would you like to play the million? I think so. OK, let's try that. <laughs> so, this is Richard Dealey, an accountant from Nottingham. Up in the audience is his friend Karen. He's just 15 questions away from a million. And he has those three lifelines. He's got 50 50. He's got phone a friend, and he can ask this audience. Okay, lots of luck, Richard. Let's play. Okay. Who wants to be a millionaire? So, question number one for £100. Have a look. Traditionally, when two British people meet, what do they shake? Hands. Be careful. Heads. Feet. Knees. Hands, Chris. It'll be hands. It's the right answer. You've got £100. <laughs> OK, question number two for 200 Have a look. Three lifelines left. Uh, be aware they're there. You probably won't need them. This is for £200. Which of these is a sensation most likely to be experienced at a great height? Lumbago. Tango. Vertigo. Bingo. Vertigo. It's the right answer. You've got £200. <laughs> OK, question number three for 300. Have a look. Take your time. What's the name of the material emitted by volcanoes? Dew. Lava. Moss. Brine. I'll go with lava. It's the right answer. You've got 300 pounds. <laughs> Question number four, so 500. Which group had a UK number one single in 2001 with Hole Again? Nuclear Puppy, Chemical Duckling, Neutron Piglet, what a band they sound, Atomic Kitten. Well, Neutron Piglet would be a good name for a band, but right it isn't. Um, I'll go for D, Atomic Kitten. Atomic Kitten is the right answer, you got 500 quid. <laughs> OK, have a look at question number five. It guarantees you're going home with £1,000. Here it is. With which US city is the thoroughfare Sunset Boulevard famously associated? New York, Chicago, Atlanta, Los Angeles. So for £1,000, you go home with nothing at all if you give me a wrong answer. Los Angeles, Chris. Final answer? Final answer. It's the right answer. You've got £1,000. Good answer. <laughs> Start a worry for that for a second. <laughs> Just 
for a second there. You weren't looking quite so composed, were you? Ha! Right, you've got three lifelines. You're guaranteed to go home with at least £1,000. Suddenly, all the women in the audience find you much more attractive than they were five <laughs> questions ago. Trust me on this. Um, question number six, you might as well play this for £2,000. You can't lose, it's worth £1,000. Here it comes. Who was the Russian member? You should know this, so you may would the Vulcan made it work. <laughs> Kevin would know. Who was the Russian member aboard the Enterprise in TV's Star Trek? Tolstoy, Chekhov, Pushkin, Dostoevsky. Wow. I'll go for Chekhov. It's the right answer. You got two thousand pounds. Have a look at number seven. It's for £4,000. You haven't needed any lifelines yet. Have a look at this. What name is the Spanish equivalent of Michael? Manuel. Marcos. Miguel. Mario. Hmm. Can I ask the audience, please, Chris? Uh, you can. Uh, audience on your keypads, please. This is for £4,000. Which name is the Spanish equivalent of Michael? A, B, C or D. On your computer keypads, please. It's worth £4,000 to Richard. All vote now. Uh, 82% think uh, Miguel. 12% um, of this audience think the Spanish equivalent of Michael is Manuel. 1% um, think it's Marcos. Uh, and 5% think it's Mario. It might be. It might be. I don't think it is. I think Miguel's the right answer. Final answer? Final answer. It's the right answer. You've got £4,000. <laughs> Question number eight for £8,000. You've still got 50 50. You've still got phone a friend. Have a look at this. Tell me if you want to play. You lose 3000 here if you give me a wrong answer. You're guaranteed 1000 Maris Piper and Desiree are varieties of which vegetable? Cabbage, pepper, artichoke, potato. Mm. Why are you to, nodding at me? We used to grow them at home. My parents' size. Well, in, in the vegetable. House. No, in the vegetable patch. All right. So what's the answer then? Do you know? No, I don't have to. You don't have to. Potato. Is it? Final answer, potato. It's the right answer, you've got <laughs> £8,000. <laughs> OK, you've got 8000 Money's going up and up and up. Uh, you're guaranteed 1000 you've got eight at the moment. Still got phone and phone, you've got 50-50. This is question number nine of a possible 15. Which of these is a form of entertainment featuring variety acts? Vignette. Valediction. Vaudeville. Vaporetto. Tricky one, Chris. Vaudeville. Final answer. Vaudeville. Final answer. You had eight thousand pounds. You've now got £16,000. <laughs> if you give me a wrong answer here, you plunge £15,000. Mm. But this is for £32,000. Question number 10. Which of these is a famous British fashion designer with his own chain of stores? Stan Smith. Chris Smith. Paul Smith. Arthur Smith. It's worth £32,000. Paul Smith. Final answer. Final answer. Paul Smith. You just won £32,000. <laughs> Whatever happens... <laughs> i tell you what, women are finding you more and more attractive by the second. £32,000. Whatever happens, you want to take it? Whatever happens, you go away with it? Yeah. Matt. OK, give me another one. <laughs> £32,000 you've got. Whatever happens, you go home with that. You dig it out. I don't know. <laughs> this is for £64,000. You've got to phone a friend. You've got a 50-50. Have a look at question number 11. It's for £64,000. Here it comes. 
In which sport are white goose feathers an important feature, especially at international level? Darts, archery, fly fishing, badminton. Can I pick it up again? <laughs> I'm not going to put it that way. In which sport are white goose feathers an important feature, especially at international level? Darts, archery, fly fishing, badminton for £64,000. Can I phone friend, please? You can. Who would you like to phone? Can I phone Andy, please? Andy? OK. 30 seconds. Uh, tell him the question. Four possible answers. One of those is the right answer. It's worth £64,000. Where's Andy? Uh, he's in Norfolk. Okay. You don't take his answer, it's up to you. So go to 50 50 if you need. Hello? Andy? Hello? Hiya, it's Chris Tarrant here on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Good evening. Hello, Chris. Hiya, I've got Richard here, Richard Dealey. Right. He's doing rather well, he's on £32,000. Oh dear. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> right, but, pressure's on then. Yeah, with your help, we can get him up to £64,000. He's stuck on a particular question. There are four possible answers, so one of those is the right answer. OK, Andy. Right, Chris. OK, lots of luck, Richard. Your time starts now. OK, Andy. Hello, Richard. In, in which sport are white goose feathers an important feature, especially at international level? Darts, archery, fly fishing, or badminton? Um. My inkling is, is archery, but I'm not mm, certain, I have to mine. say. Um, I would so you think it's archery? My inclination would yeah. be for that, but yeah. I, I'm not certain, I have to say. Yeah, it's mine as well. OK, thanks, Andy. OK, Richard, best of luck. Well, he says archery. I thought it was archery. I'm going to go with archery. Well, <laughs> Well, out of those four, it's the best one I can come up with. <laughs> Whether it's the right one is a different matter. You had £32,000. You still have £32,000. It's the wrong answer. The right answer is actually badminton. <laughs> still a lot of money, £32,000. You get your check back if you want. <laughs> OK, give him a big hand. He goes away with £32,000. Well done, mate. Thank you. Thank you.